are you? How do you identify yourself? When we are asked in public, we present the best image we have based on what we do or what we like. But how about when we talk to ourselves? How do we individually talk to or treat ourselves? Hello, YouTube. Today, I would like to share with you about the ego, how it manifests, and the effect of identifying ourselves with our ego. There are several definitions about the ego. Probably when you think of the ego, you might think that it is vanity and pride, but it goes far beyond an overinflated sense of self. I'm interested with the spiritual definition of the ego. Craig well described about the ego on his book, Altar Ego. The ego is a self-constructed identity, a thought or a little voice in your head that tells you who you are. These thoughts are often a false self-constructed based on our accomplishments or what others have told us. Let's see this with example. If you ask me who I am, I would say I am Lem Lem. And this name is given to me by my parents. And when I was a child, my parents advised me to study hard, to have excellent grades, to join university, and to be a doctor or to have a well-paying job. So I remember studying hard. In Ethiopia, schools starting from kindergarten rank students based on their exam results. So students who are ranked from one up to three receive awards. So when I was a grade 11 student, I was ranked number two and received a certificate of accomplishment. And I remember how I felt. With this continuing good grades at grade 12, I was able to join university. And with these accomplishments, I said to myself, Lem Lem, you are brilliant and smart. So the ego needs to identify itself with external things. The most common identifications are knowledge and education, possessions, family status, social status, physical appearance, racial identity, etc. But none of this is you. All your possessions could be swiped away in a moment. Your beauty will fade as you get old and you get retired at your job. So then who are you if you lose all these external things that you identify yourself. After I joined the university, the first year was challenging. New environment with many students get dismissed after first semester or first year. So I remember studying hard because if I get dismissed, that would be a big shame and embarrassment. Some of the times that I really enjoyed and slept well was when there was no electricity or power. Why? Because when there was no power or electricity, which happened frequently because of the country's shortage of power, I would say in a big loud voice, yes, and go to my bed and sleep without guilt, knowing that I will not study. So as other students, 
So unfortunately, that semester, I couldn't receive good grades and I couldn't join medical faculty. So when I can't find what I wanted or I couldn't achieve what I planned, I would say to myself, Lam Lam, you are not good enough. And the thoughts that comes to my mind were not supportive at all. Here you see the ego manifests as a constant feeling of not being worthy, not good enough, sense of inferiority or self-hatred. And the ego also manifests as intense craving or needing more and wanting more. And the egoic mind says, if I have this and that, I will be happy. And if it doesn't happen, it's like a child who won't stop whining. So if you believe that you are your mind or the thoughts that tells you who you are, your ego has taken you over and you are at the mercy of your mind. Our mind is the most wonderful and superb tool, but how we use it determines the quality of our life. The effect of identifying ourselves with the egoic mind is that we cannot be at ease, we cannot have peace or any satisfaction. Or you might get some satisfaction when you achieve what you wanted, but it doesn't last. So then how can we save ourselves from our ego? Realizing the true self goes far beyond what we do, what we like, or what others told us, even sometimes what you think about yourself. You are not your ego. Embrace yourself. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will not miss similar contents.